Baruch Hu, the faithful witness. Baruch Hu, the first begotten of the dead. Baruch Hu, the prince of the kings of the earth. Baruch Hu, Alpha and Omega. Baruch Hu, the beginning and the end. And Baruch Hu, the almighty. Baruch Hu, the first and the last. Baruch Hu, the son of man. Baruch Hu, he that liveth and was dead and is alive forevermore. Baruch Hu, he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Baruch Hu, he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. Baruch Hu, son of God. Baruch Hu, he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Baruch Hu, he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Baruch Hu, the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Baruch Hu, he who liveth forever and ever. Baruch Hu, he who is the Lord. Baruch Hu, Lion of the tribe of Judah. Baruch Hu, Lily of the valley. Baruch Hu, Rose of Sharon. Baruch Hu, Light of the world. Baruch Hu, Bread of life. Baruch Hu, Day Son. Hallelujah. Baruch Hu, Root of David. Baruch Hu, the Lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Baruch Hu, he that sitteth upon the throne. Baruch Hu, the name which no one knows, according to Revelations 19 and 12. Baruch Hu, Prince of Peace. Baruch Hu, Mighty God. Baruch Hu, Wonderful Counselor. Baruch Hu, Holy One. Baruch Hu, Lamb of God. Baruch Hu, Prince of Life. Baruch Hu, Lord God Almighty, Baruch Hu, Lion of the tribe of Judah, Baruch Hu, Root of David, Baruch Hu, Word of Life, Baruch Hu, Bread of Life, Baruch Hu, Author and Finisher of our faith, Baruch Hu, Advocate, Baruch Hu, The Way, Baruch Hu, The Day Spring, Baruch Hu, Lord of All, Baruch Hu, The Great I Am, Baruch Hu, Son of God, Baruch Hu, Shepherd and Bishop of Souls, Baruch Hu, Messiah, Baruch Hu Moshiach, Baruch Hu the truth, Baruch Hu Savior, Baruch Hu chief cornerstone, Baruch Hu king of kings, Baruch Hu righteous judge, Baruch Hu light of the world, Baruch Hu head of the church, Baruch Hu head of the body, Baruch Hu morning star, Baruch Hu son of righteousness, Baruch Hu Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hu chief shepherd, Baruch Hu, resurrection and the life. Baruch Hu, horn of salvation. Baruch Hu, governor. Baruch Hu, alpha and omega. Baruch Hu, the ancient of days. Baruch Hu, Shiloh. Baruch Hu, true vine. And Lord, because of who you are, as believers, we are saved. Forever by grace through faith, forgiven, accepted, beloved of God, servants of the Most High God, new creatures, dead to sin, alive to God, walking in the newness of life, baptized into Yeshua HaMashiach, the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, clothed with Mashiach, Kodesh, blameless, at peace with Elohim, Jews, born again, partakers of the divine nature, empowered by Elohim, Children of promise, one in him, the body of Moshiach, seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. Kingdom citizens, a royal priesthood, vessels of honor, salt of the earth, light of the world, soldiers of Moshiach, fishers of men, ministers of reconciliation. But most of all, because of who you are, Lord, we are victorious. Hallelujah. Give him a hand clap of praise. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Father. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Amen. I'm the Shilly Khan, Rabbi Vincent P. Adams, and I'm co-founder of Etayim, the Tree of Life, along with my lovely wife, Navia Leslie Adams, and we want to welcome you here to our Shabbat Friday night Shabbat celebration. Uh, we call this our throne room and meditation service. We enter into the very presence of God. We ascend through the ten Sephirah, and we come before the very throne of grace in our time of need boldly tonight. Hallelujah.
Well, the Word of God commands us to blow the holy shofar before we enter into battle. So, without further ado, Baruch Atah, Yahweh, Eloheinu Malek, Koalam, Asher, Kitsanu, Omitzvata, Vitivanu, Al Mitzvah, Shofar, Vishim Yeshua, Amin. hands 
establish him. This is the 90th Psalm, verse 17. And as I said, we're here to unite the name, to unify the name yod Hey and vav Hey, to unify, behold the nail, behold the hand, or behold the hand and behold the nail. Yahweh, the tetragram, the Shem, him before the Shem. As Brother Andy pointed out tonight, that was, I hadn't seen that uh, revelation before, or no one had made that apparent. But it's true. The yo is the symbol for hand, and hey is the symbol, or it means behold. And vav, and vav is the symbol of a nail. Then we have the, the final hey, behold against. Yo hey, vav hey. Behold the hand. Behold the nail. And we know whose hand the nail was driven into. Yeshua HaMashiach on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for that blessing, brother. Yes, sir. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and obliged us with the county of the Omer. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Meditating on the Hebrew. Taharino Lamei Goyim Han of Guvor, 27th of Nisan. Leama, Shaheen, Shavua, Ike, Vak, Hamisha, Yamin. Hallelujah. Today, 14 days of the Omer, which are two weeks. Give yourself a hand clap. You survived two weeks of the Omer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just five more weeks to go. Amen. You're going to be here for every night, listening in. Say hallelujah. Oh, that was fancy. Say hallelujah again. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, all right. Not going to let you off easy. <laughs> Amen. The merciful one, he will return the service of the temple to his place speedily and in our days. I want you to know you are the temple and you shall be restored to your full service. Amen. You are being cleansed and purified during this 49-day process of the counting of the own. Glory to God. Vishen Yeshua. Amen. For the musician, a melodious psalm and a song, may Yahweh give us favor and bless us. May he shine his cotton upon us, Selah, to make known his ways to the world and his salvation among the nations. The nations shall give thanks to you, Yahweh. All the nations shall give thanks to you. The people shall rejoice and sing because you judge nations with fairness and you guide people on earth, Selah. The nations shall give thanks to you, Yahweh. All nations shall give thanks to you. The earth has given its yield. May Yahweh, our Elohim, bless us. May Yahweh bless us and may all fear him from all the ends of the earth. Vishem Yeshua. Amen. 67th Psalm. And as we have done every night, I will meditate on the 72 names of God that surround the shield of David. Uh, the rabbis believe that this was the actual, uh, this was inscribed on David's shield. And his en enemies would simply fall before him when he went into battle. Uh, the 72 names of God are Right here, you can't see him that well, probably. But I'll begin the meditation.
Lamed Pei Zayin Kof. Yaki Gii Leameka Pene Zagri Kidosh Hateka. Soul and problem, turn to your people, those who remember your sanctity. Blessed is the name of glory. His kingdom is forever and for eternity. Vishen Yeshua. Amen. The Talmud, Peach Camp 56a. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moshe, your servant, to enumerate the canon of the owner in order to purify us from our pure pot and our defilements. This is as it is written in your Torah, and you shall count for yourselves from the day following the Shabbat, from the day on which you bring the portion of your wave offering, seven complete weeks, until the day following the seventh week. You shall count 50 days, so that the spirit of your nation Israel, and we are Israel, shall be purified from their defilement. Leviticus chapter 23, verses 15 and 16. Therefore, may it be pleasing before you, Yahweh, our Elohim, and the Elohim of our forefathers, that by virtue of the counting of the Omer, that we have counted today the flaw that we have caused in the Sephiroth of Malhut of Guvarah will be corrected, and we shall be purified and sanctified with supernal sanctity. Vishen Yeshua. Amen. Selah. Doing the meditation again. meditating, receiving the blessing, staying in a state of praise and worship. Hallelujah. Stay in that praiseful mind. Alayon Rasho Vasi, Yelayon Rasho, Yeshulian Rasha, Alayon Rasho.
I love about stuff. Who is like the Lord our God? In all the earth. Amen. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us regarding the commandment of seed seeds. May it be your will, Yahweh, my Elohim, and Elohim of my forefathers, that the commandment of seed seeds be worthy before you, as if I had fulfilled it in all its details, implications, and intentions, as well as the 613 commandments that are dependent upon it. Vishem Yeshua. Amen. Blessed are you, Yahweh, O my son. Yahweh, my Elohim, you are very great. You have done majesty and splendor, cloaked in light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a curtain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the sake of the unification of the Holy One, blessed be He and His presence. In fear and love, to unify the name, yo he revive he. Behold the hand, behold the nail, in perfect unity in the name of all Israel. I am ready to wrap my body in seed seed. So may my soul, my 248 organs, and my 365 sinews be wrapped in the illumination of seed seed, which has a numerical value of 613. Just as I cover myself with a talus in this world, so may I merit the rabbinical garb and a beautiful cloak in the world to come, in the Garden of Eden, in the midst of the paradise of God. Through the commandment of seed seed, May my life force, spirit, soul, and prayer be rescued from the external forces. May the talent spread its wings over them and rescue them like an eagle rousing his nest, fluttering over the eagles. May the commandment of seat seats be worthy before the Holy One. Blessed is he, as if I had fulfilled it in all its details, implications, and intentions, as well as the 613 commandments that are dependent upon it. Vishem Yeshua. Amen. Selah. Blessed are you, Yahweh Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to wrap ourselves in seed seed. How precious is your kindness, O Yahweh. The sons of man take refuge in the shadow of your wings. May they be saved from the abundance of your house, and may you give them to drink from the streams of your delight. For with you is the source of life. By your light we shall see light. Extend your kindness to those who know you and your charity to the upright of heart. Hallelujah. For the sake of unification of the Holy One, blessed be He and His presence in fear and love to unify the name, Yod Hey Vav Hey, behold the hand, behold the name, in perfect unity in the name of all Israel. Behold, and putting on to fill in, I intend to fulfill the commandment of my Creator, who has commanded us to put on to fill it, as it is written in his Torah. Bind them as a sign upon your arm. Let them be to fill in between your eyes. These four courses contained in the to fill in. The Shema, Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 through 9. Number two, and it will come to pass if you will hearken. Number three, uh, Excuse me, Deuteronomy 11, verses 13 to 21. Number three, sanctify, Exodus 13, 1 through 10. And fourth, and it will come to pass when he shall bring you, Exodus 13, 11 through 16, contains his oneness and unity. May his name be blessed in the universe so that we will recall the miracles and wonders that he did with us when he removed us from Egypt and that he has the strength and dominion over those above and those below to do with them as he wishes. He has commanded us to put on to fill in upon the arm to recall the outstretched arm of the Exodus and that it may be opposite the heart thereby to subjugate the desires and thoughts of our heart to his service. May his name be blessed and upon the head opposite the brain so that the soul that is in my brain together with all my other senses and potentials, may be subjugated to his service. May his name be blessed. May some of the spiritual influence of the commandment of Tefillin be extended upon me, so that I have a long life, a flow of holiness and holy thoughts, without even an inkling of sin or iniquity, and that the evil inclination will not seduce nor excite against me, 
and that it be permitted as to serve, that I be permitted to serve Yahweh as is my heart's desire. May it be your will, Yahweh, our Elohim and the Elohim of our forefathers, that the commandment of putting on to fill and be considered as worthy before the Holy One. Blessed is he, as if I had fulfilled it in all its details, implications, and intentions as well as the 613 commandments that are appended upon it. Vishim Yeshua, Amin, Selah. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to put on to fill it. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us regarding the commandment of to fill it. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. From your wisdom, O Supreme Elohim, may you imbue us, may you imbue me. From your understanding, give me understanding, give us understanding. With your kindness, do gently with us and myself. With your power, cut down our foes and devils. May you pour goodly oil upon the seven arms of the menorah to cause your good to flow to your creations. May you Open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. We will betroth you to us forever, and we will betroth you to us with righteousness, justice, kindness, and mercy. We will betroth you to us with fidelity, and we will know Yeshua HaMashiach. Vishem Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your holy name, Father. Bless your name, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. You can direct your attention this way to the east. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, let your spirit move upon the face of this holy water. Just as it moved upon the face of the holy waters at the beginning of time in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and by reason of this holy mission that we perform tonight let it do for us what it did for the world for you said you have founded the world upon the seas and established it upon the floods let us be firmly established and planted in you Lord by reason of this holy and divine name for Lord. And Father, let it do for us what it did for Father Noah and his family. For your word says eight souls were saved by water. But that same water that delivered Noah and his family to a new beginning in you also destroyed all evil around them. Let this holy water deliver us to a new beginning in you, but destroy all evil surrounding us, Lord. Let it do for us, Lord, what it did for our forefathers at the edge of the Red Sea, Lord. Let it make a way for us to go over on dry land. But let it destroy all evil pursuing us, just as it destroyed Pharaoh and all his soldiers and chariots, Lord, and footmen, Father. Let it destroy all evil pursuing us, but make a way for us to escape on dry land. Let it do for us what it did for our forefathers at the edge of the river Jordan. Let us go over on dry land into the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Let it do that for us too, Lord. Father, let it do for us what it did for you in the middle of the river Jordan when your cousin, Yochanan, Hamikvah, performed the mikvah on you, Lord. And when you rose out of the water, the Ruach descended upon you like a dove. And the voice of the Father was heard saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. I am well pleased. Let us hear you say, We are your beloved children, in whom you are well pleased. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Thank you.
Hamashiach. Come down in power through the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh upon this holy anointed oil. Let it do for us what it did for Aaron and his sons and the vessels of the temple. Let it make us fit vessels for your use, Lord. For we are the temple and we are your priests, Father. Thank you, Lord. I anoint you in the sign of El Shaddai the destroyer and the nourisher. And in the name of Abba Yahweh, Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Amen. Thank you. What I just did was I sealed you in your forehead according to the book of Revelation. And as you notice on my head, is the holy letter Sheen, which is the considered the initial of God. It stands for El Shaddai. It's what goes on the mezuzah, mezuzah of every observant uh, Jew like myself. It is also, Sister Leslie always reminds me not to catch myself on fire. <laughs> It is also the sign that I read to you. The sheen, dollar, and the yoke stands for El Shaddai, a sign upon. Make a sign upon your hand, put it between your eyes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Dear Heavenly Father, come down through the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh upon the holy incense, Lord. Let it do for us what it did for our forefathers in the wilderness. When Father Aaron took fire from the altar and placed it in his center, censer and put holy incense thereon and ran out of the tent of meeting into the midst of the people where the plague was slain thousands of them. And he stood between the living and the dead in the holy midst of the holy incense and the plague was stayed. The angel of death could not pass through the holy incense. Let all of the prayers and praises and supplications that we have laid before you tonight during our praise and worship segment, Lord, let them come up before you as holy incense, as a sweet savior, savor, Lord, to you. Just like the 24 elders who are around the throne, in Revelations chapter 4, with golden bowls of odors or incense or the prayers of the saints. Let the angel of death not be able to pass through this holy midst, Lord. Let death, let it, death not be able to pass through to our finances, through our health and bodies, Lord, through our marriages, Lord, through our relationships with our children, Father. Let the angel of death not be able to pass through. Let he not be able to pass through to our businesses and our jobs and our careers, Lord, to relationships with other people, Father. Let the plague of death be stayed by virtue of the holy incense, Lord. Let him not be able to pass through, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, come down in power through the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh upon the stones of fire, the terrible Christmas fire. Let this place be just like New Jerusalem, Lord. Twelve foundations, Lord, as I wear the holy breastplate, Father, with the twelve stones that was in the Orim and the Tumim of the high priest, Lord, the stones of fire and the stone on each shoulder. Let this place become New Jerusalem, Lord. Let us stand on 12 foundations of crystals, Lord. Let us be surrounded by four walls of an entire crystal, Father. Let us stand 
in the midst of every crystal that you ever made or ever will make, Lord. Just as Revelation chapter 21 said, Father, for on the walls of the 12 foundations were garnished with every precious stone that you ever made. Let the river flowing out of your throne, Father, flow through us tonight, Lord. Let this be new Jerusalem right now, Lord. Let it be as it was in the time of our father Adam, where there were crystals flowing out of the four rivers, out of the Garden of Eden, which place your Shekinah glory as a dome of protection over our father. Place that same protection over us now. New Jerusalem, Father. Let this be, Lord, the place where Father Jacob laid his head on your precious stones, Lord. And he had visions of angels ascending and descending. Allow us to ascend upward to you, Lord. Yes, Father. Glory, hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, as I said in the opening prayer, we abide under the shadow of your wings, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Under your shadow, Lord. Under the shadow of your wings, we've clothed ourselves with light of the Holy Seed Seed. Thank you. Bless your name, Father. Bless your name. Lord, come down in power, Father, once again. Abba Yahweh, Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, come down in power upon the elements of the Holy Communion table. Fill the unleavened bread with your body. Renew your presence in the holy monstrous. Fill the cup, the cup of the fruit of the vine, with your blood and the total essence there. Before we proceed, Father, allow us once again to be in your presence through the light of your holy menorah. According to Revelation chapter 5, let your power, you can repeat after me, let your power, power, let your power, your riches, your riches, wisdom, wisdom, strength, strength, honor, honor, glory, glory. do for us, Lord, what it did for Father Moshe when he stood on Mount Sinai and looked into your burning bush, which was your holy menorah, the seven spirits burning brightly before your throne. There's an actual bush in Israel that looks, that grows, it looks exactly like a menorah. And that's what it said to be, had been the burning bush. When he looked into the burning bush, Lord, you not only revealed his purpose for his life and the reason why he was born, but you gave him the power to carry it out. Give us the power, give us the purpose and the reason for why we were born, Lord, and give us the power to carry out that mission as we gaze upon your holy menorah right now, Father as we meditate on your seven spirits, Lord. Do that for us now, Lord. And Lord, by reason of our partaking of your holy and divine will, let it heal every cell, tissue, organ, and bodily system of our body. Your word says in Revelation chapter 4, excuse me, chapter 1, that your voice is as the sound of a mighty shofar. 
And in verse 15 of the same verse, it says that your voice is as the sound of many waters. Lord, let the shofar sound of the blast of your voice be heard throughout our entire triune being. For your word in Hebrews chapter 12 says that your blood speaks, but it speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. So let the shofar sound of the voice of your blood be heard throughout our body, throughout our spirit, throughout our mind. Let the voice of many waters be heard by reason of our partaking of this holy and divine meal. Let the shofar sound of the blast of your voice, Lord, be heard in our brains, Lord, in the right hemisphere, the left hemisphere, in the amygdala, which is the seat of our emotions, in our hippocampus, where our memories are formed, Lord. Let it be heard, Father, in our hearts and minds, Lord. Let it be heard in our pineal gland, our pituitary gland, our thyroid, Father. Let it be heard in our stomachs, in our colon, in our small intestine, large intestine, Father. Let it be heard in our kidneys and adrenal glands, Lord. Let it be heard in our liver, our gallbladder, our spleen. Let it be heard in our pancreas, Lord. Let it be heard in the womb of every woman and in the loins of every man. Let it be heard in our prostate glands of men, Father, in the ovaries of women, in the uterus of women. Let it be heard. Let it be heard to the very marrow of our bones and every joint, ligament, and tendon in our body, Lord, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Let it be heard, Father, saying, Peace, be still. And Father, we ask for your mercy and for your forgiveness, Lord. And the same mercy and forgiveness that we ask of you and beg of you, we extend to our brethren, Father. We ask you to forgive them, Lord, for anything that we perceive that they have done to us, whether it's real or just something completely of our own imagination, Lord, we forgive them. And we ask for your mercy and forgiveness. On the faithful night, Lord, you took bread and you break it, saying, this is my body which is broken, that yours may be whole. And this, and after your soul done and sup, you took the cup, the cup of the fruit of the vine, and said, this is my blood which is shed for the remission of your sins and the establishment of the great kind of shot, a new covenant. Take ye and eat and drink ye all of it, for my body is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The body and blood of Yeshua on the ship. You may protect. Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. of the meditation, I invite you to turn your attention to the chart of the 10 C for rope. upward into the throne room. Oh, 
partake of an open heaven by invoking the name Adonai here in Mount Hood, the King. As we meditate on this flow of blessing, this flow of prosperity, a flow of healing, glory to God, a flow of peace, we thank you and we give you praise, Lord. Right now, I want you to imagine a color of deep, dark blue, midnight blue, or very dark navy blue. This is the color that's associated with the Sephiroth of Malchut. You can open your eyes and look at the chart and look at Malchut and just imagine a deep, dark blue light emanating from Mount Hood, which totally engulfs you, totally penetrates you. Become, by becoming one with that light and seeing that light engulf you, you become one with the Sephiroth, one with the divine name, Adonai, one with all of the blessings that are contained in the Sephiroth Mount Hood. All of the blessings flowing in you, through you, and to you, out of yourself. Imagine that deep blue light. Just say the name Adam now. Be Lord in my life. Adam and I be Lord in my life. See the anointing of the blue light coming into you. We now begin to ascend up this ten for rope to Yassar, which means foundation. The divine name of Yassar is El Shaddai, the nourisher, the supplier. Yassad is the Sephiroth that supplies Malhut, our earthly and corporeal existence, with all of the blessings of the Father of Lights. They all funnel down into Yassad and are funnel into us in Malhut. We invoke the blessings of Yassad with the name El Shaddai. El Shaddai. The color is orange. Imagine an orange light emanating out of the sphere of your soul, engulfing you, enlivening you, penetrating you. And then see yourself radiating the same orange light as you become one with the Sephiroth of your soul and the divine name El Shaddai nourishing you with all blessing.
yourself becoming one with that light. The divine name of Elohim Tizol.
partaking of all of the blessings along the way. Moving back to the left column, we come to the Sifara Bina, which represents the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the third person of the Godhead. We are before the throne, the throne of mercy, the throne of grace, the throne of God. The divine name is Yahweh Elohim. The color is a yellow with a green border. tonight. Uh, we will be adding more elements to the meditation in the weeks and months to come. There's a lot more attributes that you can meditate on that are associated with each Sephirah. 
and I will introduce a different aspect each and every time we have this service over the weeks and months to come. It's a very powerful meditation. And once you begin to really get into it, especially on a regular basis, those blessings that I mentioned through the divine names become a part of you and they, be, and they activate in your life. You just have to let them in. You just have to use your faith and meditate. Meditation is very, very powerful. That's why the Bible commands us to meditate on his word night and day. Because they're life to all our flesh. Amen. Well, that's going to conclude our throne room and meditation service. We went into the very throne room of God through our praise and worship, through our sanctification from the altar, in the Holy Communion, in the Holy Water, in the Holy Anointed Oil, in the Divine Incense, in the Holy Incense. And then we ascended into the very throne room using our faith and our meditation along with the sound of the singing bowl, which represented, the singing bowl represented the voice of many waters. We blew the holy shofar earlier, and we heard the voice of the mighty shofar, and then we heard the voice of many waters through the singing bowl as we ascended upward. And the vibration of all of that had a profound effect on us whether you realize it or not. It healed, it cleansed. And, you know, this is going to be recorded and placed on YouTube. You know, listen to it over and over again, this part, you know, the meditation. Listen to it, you know, in the altar service. Listen to it over and over again throughout the week. Set aside 15, 20 minutes to meditate on this over and over again. And I guarantee you, things will be, begin to happen. Certain negativity will diminish in your life, and the positive things will increase. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. May the blessings of our Lord and Savior be upon you. Amen. Don't forget, tomorrow morning is going to be a fantastic Midrash and Bible study. Uh, at about uh, between 9 a.m. and 9.30, we'll be getting started. Don't miss tomorrow for the, uh, the Midrash and Bible study. Shabbat Shalom.